Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie and we are on point with this vlogmas thing so far. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so it is Sunday and the time is about 3 in the afternoon and um, I'm just pretty much, uh, you know, cleaning up and stuff like that. Um, I just took a shower after having spent all day in my pajamas um, doing things, getting things done. Um, uploading also so right now I see that I have like you know a hairy situation as far as my eyebrows is concerned and I can sure use a little bit of uh, TLC as far as my skin is concerned so guys I show you guys this one of my favorite products ever the wildflowers it's kind of dirty please excuse me but it's called wild wildflowers for sensitive skin detoxifying clay mask so I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to just take this day to, you know, do some self-care and pamper myself and love on myself, you know, before the week begins and I'm busy, too busy to do anything um, else. So I, like I told you guys before, this is the best feeling ever and I got to get some more of these, um, this clay mask. It really is amazing for your skin. Amazing. And I think the last time I did a clay mask was like months ago. So it's pretty much uh, necessary right now. I would love to go to the nail salon, but I feel like going to the nail salon right now is a waste of my money because I could just do my own nails. Plus I had to cut my nails the other day because guys every time I try to grow my nails something happens so I finally grew it to a nice length and then it chipped right in the middle so I had no choice at first I cut it like you know cut it a little bit so that I can work with it because nobody will really tell nobody can see you know I, I chipped I cut it where it was chipped and I left the nail long but that those little makeshift jobs never worked because the nail was very sensitive every time I would use my hands it would just hurt because the nail was chipped and so I just had to go ahead and cut all my nails down <laughs> I hate when my nails are like this I feel like a little kid like it looks so stubby so luckily it has grown out just a tiny bit where it doesn't hurt because I had to cut it all the way down um, because of the chip so now they're all stubs. So for me to go to the nail salon with this, <laughs> it wouldn't make sense for them to do a manicure. Me pay them to do a manicure on these little fingers. I could just paint my own nails here at home. Just make the best out of a situation that um, I really don't like short nails. I like I like medium nails, nice long, healthy nails, and um seems like every time I grow my nails it chips right in the middle so what I need to do next time I'm thinking next time I'm going to grow my nails and then go ahead and get a, a, a wrap like a I think it's called a silk wrap or a gel wrap or something like that so that it stays and it's you know I'm not going to be like cracking it and stuff like that and it could grow all right so time to do these eyebrows guys these eyebrows are atrocious look at them I don't see how anyone has ever looked at me and not said anything about my eyebrows. <laughs> um, and I've gone out like this too. But you know what? Time to get some things done as far as self-care. Uh, I have tweezed my eyebrows for as long as I can remember. Like, I've been tweezing my own eyebrows since high school. And I pretty much taught myself, like, how to do it. Um, yeah, I just go in and first of all, I push my eyebrows up so I could see the shape of it. And then I go along on the, the bottom and I just take out whatever hairs don't align with the shape. It's so easy. Like people would be asking me, Desiree, do you get your, your eyebrows done? They'll be asking me that in high school. And I'm like, no, I do it myself. And some people would ask me to do their eyebrows too. 
I never got it waxed. Never, never, never. I'm actually kind of scared to get my, my eyebrows waxed because that thing looks like it hurts. So I'd rather just do my own jobs until I can work up the nerve to maybe get get a waxing one day on these eyebrows. Yeah, so it doesn't really take me much. I just go in and take out the small hairs that uh, don't make sense on the bottom as well as on the top. Top is never really a bunch of an issue. Of course, I make sure to get in the middle so I don't end up with a unibrow. <laughs> But it's just really easy and simple. I don't over, I try not to over tweeze because I do still want some eyebrows after I finish tweezing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to tweeze off all your eyebrows. <laughs> so, yeah. Sometimes it's great to start at the very end of your eyebrow. I don't know why this eyebrow looks thicker than this one. Isn't that annoying? I just want both of them to be thick. <laughs> So I start off at the end of this one and just go ahead and go in along the length of the eyebrow, if that makes any sense. Ooh. And I just make sure to get one hair at a time so that I'm sure that I'm doing it right and I'm not taking out too much. Ouch. Um, whatever hairs don't make sense, I just go ahead and take it out. Like this one right here. But I try not to stress myself out about just a few hairs being out of place because sometimes less is more. You don't really need to do a whole big job on your eyebrows. All it takes is just a little work and you'll see a big difference. Um, sometimes I use the, the eyebrow shaver, but in this case I don't have one, so I'm just using what I got right now. I think this hair needs to go. Let me show you. This hair right here, these oh, long hairs, this one right here has to go. Ouch. Yep. No, I don't have the eyebrow scissors right now but I mostly leave my eyebrows long and just go ahead and brush them in I think it makes it look a little bit um, thicker then I check out both of them and make sure that they're matching which right now it doesn't really look like they are so I'm just going to take out some more hair I don't want to have one look on one side and a whole different look on the other. That's just strange. Okay. I guess that was my dog and not the neighbors. Uh, I heard a knocking just now Ooh, on the floor. Okay. I think that looks decent. And so now when I use my eyebrow pencil, it's going to look like something. Another way that you could tweeze your eyebrows. Ooh, I need to go in a little bit more. Another way you could tweeze your eyebrows is by putting, the, um, putting on some eyebrow pencil. This is actually not it. But putting on, like, filling in your eyebrows, right? And then where you see, like, little hairs that are out of place, you just go ahead and take that out. And that's a quick and easy way to do your eyebrows, too. Um, yeah. If you don't know how to do your eyebrows, go ahead and fill it in with your pencil, however you fill in your eyebrows. And whatever stray hairs are left over, those are the things that you, you take out. That's a quick way to just focus on the stray hairs um, if you don't know how to do it. I've never used an eyebrow kit. I think that they might hinder me. I don't know. I've never tried it. Make sure they're both of the same length, you know? <laughs> Alright guys, I think I'm pretty good with eyebrows right now. I didn't mean for this to be an eyebrow tutorial, <laughs> but um, I am doing a little self-care. I do want to do my nails, you know? They are a little stubbies. So I want to make sure that they look like cute stubbies. <laughs> so, 
So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and look for some nail polish. Uh, today is just a very quiet day. Um, Boobie's over here. She's not 100% herself. I got her here with her food and water. She's just really quiet today. Meanwhile, I have Twinkie in the other room just so that she doesn't eat her food because Twinkie will eat Ginger's food. She will eat her food. Right? Hey, baby sister. Well, she's not in complete darkness. I have the lights on. I just turned, well, the, the light from outside is coming in, but I just turned it on so I could see because I'm extra right now. <laughs> but, um, Here's all my nail polish ones, guys. Here are all the colors that I have. This, I told you guys about this. This is the business as far as nail polish remover, um, not remover, but overcoat. This is really good. It dries out your nails very quickly, too. I have always wanted to try white, but it is fall, so I don't think I want to wear white. Um, I'm thinking, like, maybe... Something dark. I have been doing a lot of dark colors, but I also want to put some sprinkles on it. Some sparkles. I love this. However, I feel like whenever you use it, it never gives you a whole lot of sparkles. Like, I don't get it. I really don't. Red is pretty. Red is cute. I might consider that. Ooh, here's another sparkles. Gold sparkles. Reminds me of New Year's Eve. There's a blue, absolute. Have you guys ever tried this? The crackly nail polish? I never got it right. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have some lipstick in here that don't belong. It actually belongs in here. But, um, another sparkly. Uh, I'm so used to using pink that I'm trying to get out of that habit. And, and I'm also used to using purple. I'm trying to get out of that habit. Um, and these other colors. This one is like a really old color, but it's still cute. It's a L'Oreal uh, Jet Set Quick Dry. And the color is Seascape. This is more for like spring, maybe summer. Um, I have some other top coats in here. I think this one is great too as far as the top coat is concerned. Oh, my oh I have a different like an ivory color here. Ooh, this is cute. This Essie, I think it's dry. This thing is so dry, it's not even like wow. No good. Um I think this is like a nude. Very old color. It's called Daydream. I would consider this when, if my nails were longer. Not now. Not on stubby nails. I don't believe in stubby nude nails. I have this color. Don't mind, you know, it's been through much from Claire's. This looks like, hmm. Looks like an autumn color. I love this color. This color is great. This teamed up with the overcoat here. Good stuff. But um, I think I'm going to use what I got here. Oh my gosh, guys. This is my favorite. This is called Plumage by the same L'Oreal. Uh, Wear Extraordinaire. And this is great. It, it has like a nice shimmer. It has like a green shimmer to it. But it's dark. And it, it feels like fall. It looks like fall and winter. It's a beautiful color, guys. If you want to try it, definitely check that one out. I also have gold, which is pretty, but not on my short nails. What is this? Gel polish. No. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to try these out. Um, see which ones I want to use as far as color. And go ahead and use them. Twinkie, twinkie. Alright, can I open this door with the nail polish in my hands? So yeah guys, it's pretty much a quiet Sunday. I got my candle burning. Um, I was just talking to a friend on the phone. 
and we always talk about relationships so guys you know you guys um know the book that i spoke to you guys about i have it right here actually i'm about to read some more of it later on but i see it in everything like every time i talk about relationships with someone and they talk about like what's going on i think about that book and i feel like i have so much clarity um as far as why we do the things we do and why things come up in our relationships that like look like issues when really and truly like they are patterns that were developed like i realized after reading well while reading the book because i'm still in it that it's so important when you are dating someone that you get to know their family you get to know um, how they were raised their upbringing um their parents relationship because it's so important and it really the the answers that you get really show you the foundation of that person that you're dating and what they were raised being exposed to and what kind of patterns they might be inevitable to continue you know they might continue in that pattern because they've seen that that's how they were raised that's their reality that's the only reality they've been exposed to not to say that they won't do anything different from their family but their foundation is very very important so um yeah <laughs> it's very important um yeah so um, i'm gonna just get started oh i should get some nail polish remover from my toes so i can match it all up <laughs> yeah guys i'm chilling 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 i'll show you guys i know i have to cook today i know i have to cook oh but i have some french fries from last night because um guys i went out on a little date yes that's it guys i went out on a date I went out on a date, yes, it was so much fun. Of course, I'm not bringing the vlog camera because I don't want to, ooh, I have not told him yet that I do YouTube. I feel like that's very personal, like, it's personal, <laughs> it's personal. Once I tell him that I do YouTube, it's like, oh my gosh, the cat is out the bag and now he's gonna look at all my YouTube videos and it's like, I want to leave a little mystery, you know? It's, it's very important to leave some mystery and not tell everybody everything at once, eventually. I know um, he had came over yesterday while, you know, we were getting ourselves together as far as, like, going out. I was getting myself together, actually, and he sat on the couch and he saw my vlog camera and my laptop and it was actually um, in the midst of like uploading a video. So I know he looked at it and was wondering what I was doing, but he didn't ask and I didn't tell. I just closed the laptop real quick and um, put it on the side and continued talking to him. So I know he's, you know, I know the questions were in his head. Um, <laughs> seeing the, the camera connected to my laptop and like, what was that? What are you doing? Or whatever, because I had it open. Cause I was doing the video thing before he had come, um, before we had left. So yeah, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to expose that yet. Cause um, I think it's personal. Cause I know if I found out that he was doing YouTube, I'll be looking at all his YouTube videos, getting to know him, and I don't want him to know everything all at once. It's very important to leave some mystery. You know, you don't need to tell everybody everything all at once. You know, some things as we get to know each other. You get to know these things as you grow and not like all in one. Um, and I don't know how he'll feel about that. I think he'll be fine with it. Because in these days and age, like, come on. Everybody's doing something concerning technology. And having a YouTube channel is not as weird as it used to be. Well, as some people thought it was. So it shouldn't matter. So yeah, guys, um, we went out. Oh, okay. So we went out on a date. Yesterday, we went out to see um, Justice League. Because, you know, we've been late, lately, we've been doing what I like to do. So I, you know, we thought that we'll do something that he likes to do. And um, we saw Justice League. I thought it was kind of cool. It, it It's not what I normally go for. Normally, I like the little romantic comedies and horror drama lifetime stuff but um i thought okay i'll watch it and it was okay i just feel like i got lost in a lot of parts because i don't know the 
the whole entire story. I feel like I should see the very first movie before I then see that one. But it was okay. I tried to follow, you know, follow it. I tried not to ask too much questions during the movie. <laughs> Just so that, you know, we both watched the movie in peace. Um, after that, we went to a sports bar and saw a, um, mar a mixed martial arts game. A uh, fight. I keep saying game. And it was really cool. We went out to a bar. I'm sorry, guys. I'm hungry. <laughs> we went out to a bar. And... And, um, mm, this is good. And we got some drinks and saw the, um, got some food as well, which is kind of the leftovers that I'm eating now. And saw the fight. And it was really cool. Like, there was a lot of people there. A lot of people our age, of course. And it was really cool. So, I had a great time. I didn't bring my vlog camera. I know that would have been really cool footage to put on camera. But, like I said, I don't want to explain, oh, I'm YouTubing, or even make him uncomfortable if he's not, like, comfortable filming or whatever. So, eventually we'll get to that. Eventually, maybe you guys will see him. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I'm going to eat this food, and I'll come right back. Stay tuned.